When we lost in Berlin, it was pretty rough for me individually as a leader. Gambit are the Valorant Masters Champions! Those mistakes still like haunt me to this day because I feel like we should have had that championship. And just to get as far as we did that time and get all the way to the grand final and then lose the way that we did was definitely um, a little bit of a shock to all of us. It was just super surreal to be there, you know, our first LAN tournament as a team and we got, you know, to the grand final. And I think we were all ready to win, but as a team, we were pretty hurt from that. Um, but we knew that, you know, we could fix it and bounce back. The beauty of the Valorant team representing Optic is the fact that it sort of brings us back to pre, or as we're calling it here at the Hex Quarter, B, Optic BC. We get to allow, you know, Optic as a whole to be introduced to a brand new audience, which is obviously the bigger the green wall, the better. So joining Optic, you know, the merge was super, super big for us. I mean, we were super happy to go to a massive organization like Optic who has roots in, you know, in the prehistoric times of esports, you know, CS, COD. The second we joined Optic, it was just like, you're on another level now. You kind of have to make sure that, you know, we play to a level that's, you know, on level or on par with the pedigree of the organization. I think I've said this before a few times, but for me, Optic was like what got me into esports in the first place. When I was playing COD a whole bunch, I remember like I wanted to get better. And, you know, the first thing is I heard there's pro teams out there and like the, the pro team I was producing the most co content using all these videos like Optic and yeah, you know, I, I I became like a little fan. I was like rooting for them and I got engaged off the whole esports scene. You know, I have them to thank for it for like jump starting as like my whole interest and eventually now like <laughs> my whole career. I was pretty happy going back to Optic just because I've known Hex uh, since the start of my CSGO career and he gave me like a pretty big opportunity. It's simple for me, right? Uh, the, the beauty about having a team another FPS team or just another team in general representing OpTic in a different battlefield is is what we live for, right? It's what we built this thing for. Okay, so that's it. Let's play it in the side. Let's the side. Mind the ulti mid. They're popping D, I think. It's a B-pop. Yes, trust, trust, trust. I'm ulti, I'm ulti the rear end. No! We do it! Let's go! Let's do this shit, boy. Good shit. Tight, tight, tight. Stop, tight, tight. Let's go! Let's go. Let's go. Jimmy! Yes, 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 yes. Good shit, bro. Triple, triple, triple. They just go over the top, but it doesn't yeah! matter. You guys trolling? So you guys down. trolling? What else are you looking at? I was saying so locked in. I was ready to go home, bro. My God. Oh, Dude, I fucking destroyed them on that last round. Get out of team speak. I'm out of here. We were very confident in the playoff matches, and we knew we were going to make it, like, most likely. Of course, we're not counting our chickens, but, yeah, we knew we were going to make it. Back right. Back right. Back right. Backer! Back Backside, backside! Maybe at the box, guys? At the box! Backside, backside! Backside, backside! Pillar, pillar, lit! Pillar, pull, pull! Nice! Pull! Yeah, oh. Yeah, oh. Yeah. And 
and as you have a silent killer, he gets an opening kill into Huka. Showstopper into the side, it connects onto Valen. Jona P with the Guardian in the back, a flank from Net, a 1v1. Jona P gets the headshot, but he finally falls by the hands of Ye. Now up to Net, he falls down as well. Oh, and Sayo player is gonna have to try to clutch a 3v1. He does get no two kills, but that's not enough. <laughs> What I say, 2 0. What I say, what I say yesterday, we're gonna 2 0 them. Yeah, because I don't know what we win. It's just it's surreal. I mean, I went to Austin, I was like, oh my god, of course we made it again. Qualifying for a, for a land is always fun because only two teams make it, and it's just great to be one of those two teams. Yeah, so missing out on Iceland last year, you know, we participated in the qualifiers and actually lost to V1. So for this time to, you know, make it to Iceland, it definitely felt really, really good. I definitely think there was some nerves going into the first match, not in terms of like internal nerves, just in terms of cohesion within the team. Um, you'll have about 45 minutes for each selection, so we'll start with Team A, your first band. Okay. <laughs> I take this. Hello. Hello. Who wants me? Where do you want to go? Here, 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 here. I did most of the Team Liquid makeup, you know? Oh, so really? They're winning? You okay, should, I need I need, you I, need, I, need, I, need you. I need the luck. The good luck. We were confident, as always, but... Um, yeah, Zersha is a team that we've played many times. They're a team that we've won and lost to. They're the ones that knocked us out of champions. So, yeah, uh, we're we're hungry to beat them again. We just know like any team can like win and at any point, and you just have to be always on your A game. Otherwise, like you're just gonna get shit stomped. Like these kids are actually good. We were really confident going up against like the, the next lineup, and then uh, <laughs> Rafa gate it. Man, uh, it was another case of like just slow start, uh, unfortunately. What do you guys want to do? Opting on three. Opting on three. One, two, three. Opting. 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 Yeah, they know I'm here. They know I'm here. And then it stands far, waiting for the flank, and he snaps onto Sushi's there? What is that? Like, nice shot. Oh, Crashy's. This might Crashy's be it. alone in this 1v4 nice to shot. keep it alive, and it's not going to happen. Nice Surf gets three. Fire! 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 Nah, 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 wait, we shouldn't do that one. We're just doing a different right? You know, he's gonna hide in the smoke and shit, We're just gonna run into it. We're just gonna burst him. Let's go. Let's play our game. Let's play our game. Both, 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 both! both. I'm chilling, I'm chilling, I'm one of Y'all low. Yeah, second heaven. Wait, I'm gonna dart. Hi, Frank. Right. Door. Much better off here. That's okay, Evan. That shock dart. Could They're both there still. So. Done. They're so low. I'm blind, I'm blind. Yep. Exactly, the paranoia through. Not the peek off you guys. Uh, uh out, outdoor. That's guys, Jen, Jen, Jen. I'm on PP. Yep, I'm on two, I'm on two. She swings out, but crash, she's Okay, listen, one round at a time, don't worry. Don't worry about the consequences. Get away. One more, one more, same plus, three spot, heaven. One more, Jen. They gotta get the openings that they need, but Sushi Boys, who was on the site the whole time, keeps them back. Yeah, down shot, Jen. Jen, 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 Jen
they're a very chaotic team to play against, which kind of backfires against us sometimes. But yeah, once like that chaos happens again and we lose again, yeah, we really have to turn it up a notch. We ended up losing our opener game, which again, it just felt like, okay, you know what, we slipped, we start off slow a lot, so um, we I think we needed that loss to kind of wake us up, like I said. There were certain rounds that we could have definitely played better, but it came down to our confidence level. It just felt like we weren't completely locked in. So definitely for the group stages, group stage matches going forward, we were way more focused on ourselves and less focused on the opponent. We know how good we are, right? We just have to play to our potential, you know, every game. Just keep the comms up, keep the energy up, and we just realized like no game's ever free anymore. Like it doesn't matter what your past results were, every team is just so good now. So yeah, we just went into it with do or die. If we lose this, then shit. So yeah, we just gave it everything we had. At that point, I felt like I had nothing to lose. I'm like, bro, let's just play. And we just gotta turn it up and now we gotta be better. We we really like pulled together and really started to uh, you know build some confidence, I think, for us. Because of how disciplined we were and how confident we felt, I just knew we were back in that moment because after we won that game, we kind of realized, okay, we're, we're fine now. Map number one is Fracture with Team B on defense. Map number two is Haven with Team A on defense. One, two, three, on there! Let's fucking do this. This is us. What? Hold on, hold on. This is still very much up in the air. Victor is throwing his body into this. Well, ain't gonna be much. Oh, what? Oh, it's still looking messy. Oh, no way does it happen like this. Ah, I'm too fucking go. Let's fucking go. That's that green wall. That's what that is. My dog, Terry. Good shit, good shit. I knew you were gonna take one. I knew oh, you knew he was one. Big, you played what fucking insane. What are they doing? Long seat. That neon just looks insane. Fuck. I was abusing. I was screaming at this kid. I know. Poor kid. Yeah, when, we, when we see split twice in a row and it worked, I knew we were. No, we did it three times. I knew it was over after that. John did John, it three times. We beat our demons. You know, the team that like you know has taken a few series off, got our revenge, and you know we're feeling a lot better now because hey, I mean like we, I feel like we're playing like ourselves again. With that series against the guard, we knew we were a lot more experienced as a team. So like going into that, I think we felt we had a really good advantage. People thought that that team, this young team of like 14 year old children, the guard is the number one seed. They're gonna be insane, you know, just bandwagoning. I just felt so annoyed by that. And that has nothing to do, again, I, not, it's not that the players I'm against on that team. It was just, I didn't feel like they were better than us. So um, it kind of fueled us going into that match. It fueled me personally going into that match. I'm just like, I just can't wait to destroy these guys. Okay, so our first bands, we have Bind and Breeze. Map number one is Icebox with Optic on defense. Map number two is Haven with Guard on attack. Next set of bands are Ascent and Split with Fracture being default with Guard on defense. Yep, sounds good. Cool, good luck. 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 Wait, I called it initially. I called it, I called it at the start of the day. It wasn't an obvious video or anything. Why didn't we ban Fracture? <laughs> Why didn't we ban Fracture? Yeah. Oh, we're going to ban Fracture. Going against the guard, we were confident because we had more stage experience than them. And they're a very young team. But that could also backfire against us because they're just very hungry. It was a very big game in NA, so I knew everyone in North America was watching that game. We just had to turn it up for the fans. You always hit the side. You guys hear me? Is Vic already in? Vic, join. 
Yo, man. <laughs> it's cold in here, but like the rest of my body is like hot. Like, yeah, I know you what you mean. I know what you mean. I know. Oh shit. <laughs> That's scary. Here we go. <laughs> Cause we're in Space Mountain. Yo! Yo! <laughs> that was a cap. <laughs> don't, don't repeat that one. Bring back the memories. <laughs> These guys are nervous as fuck. We have to give them a slow start. Don't yeah. give them free kills. Don't push for no reason. Again, sure wall, we play our game. Make sure you wall every round. Yep. Wall is A every single round. Make them execute the site. This kid's gonna yeah. dash and fucking forget how to use his keyboard. Trust me. Okay. Just play the game. All right? Optic on three. Let's, Let's go. go. One, two, three, Optic! Oh, it's good. Obviously, it's a Vico being taken by the guard. Valen did create a lovely opening for them, but Ye still locking down the backside of Yellow. <laughs> what a headshot. Oh, that oh, is nice. killer. And he gets the ace in the round. Ooh, as I say that, what is that? The fight, but it isolates, oh, crashes. Back, back, back. He has to hold this down. Trent sticking it halfway now. Swing no. around the corner, and nobody was checking it to the side. Let's go. With optic taking map number one. One inch, one inch for the boy. It's too easy. I want you to play long. Long. Both my You're going to cross this and the barrier goes down. I will break down for you. And then you just I didn't play. Feel like you just play. Like, oh, if you get the kill, just TP away with like we take on it. Yeah. See long and I mean I'm head on the paranoia he dashes Ooh. past the trailblazer and the final knife just to reset it. Sire player with two. You have got to be kidding me. Oh, he's on me. Back flat, back flat. Dude, he's front. Oh. Oh. A quick swing has the TP, but FNS has done the wiser. Sure. What a play. It's such a classic. Straight from the playbook of the guard. And they close it out with a prime game in flawless. That's a way to get the confidence back. Like, we won their pick, they won our pick. Both teams could say, like, oh, it could have went either way, like, on either it's map. Seven, easy. seven rounds on T7, it's fucking free. Also, let's make sure we also keep the energy up, because it's hard. We, I know, I know. Like, we yeah, we were about to lose that series. I think we were down 10 6 on the last map. It's quite fantastic, Marv. Staying alive, 75 HP, four kills, potentially the ace to try and close it. Go the fuck around. That is no. immense. They smoke A. It's time to They have Brimmo. They have Brimmo. That's it. Coming out, coming out. As well, but it's moving up. Trying to push the player into the back of the side, Victor. Nothing out yet. Nothing out yet. Nice show to Coming out. Another player managed to get onto the side to collapse onto it. One more dish. One more dish. The guard. Moments away now. One dish. One missing. Missing. 25 seconds left. Oh, They're just trying to squeeze it out, Valen. The third four and nice, swings nice, through nice, it. Nice. Finesse to the back. He's so low, but he drops down. Valen. Nice. Let's fucking go! That's a joke! That's a joke! Okay. Yeah, it's okay. Thank you for trusting me, bro. Thank you for fucking trusting me. You know me, baby! You fucking joke, bro. You guys are trash, bro. Why are you joking that hard? Fucking game, bro. What a fucking game. Yo, let's go. You understand fucking how low your mic is? Come, 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 come. Where's Vic? Come here, come here, come here. I'll take on three, baby. I'll take on three. three. Let's go. Let's go. I'll take on three. One, two, three, all there! Let's go. I felt good, bro. Shit. That last map versus guard going into the playoffs felt like it's all we needed to kind of propel ourselves to know that we we're gonna potentially win this thing. I honestly felt like everything was coming together slowly. Uh, I had you on Fracture. Little did I know John had us on Fracture. Did they give me a 1v2 to play with? Or so no. I picked up the off off the yeah. ground. Yeah. Of course I'm killing this dog. When we, won that, when we won that Eco round on two side, clean as fuck, I was like, holy fuck, we're gonna roll. So we, we were really happy that, you know, we closed out and we're like, dude, <laughs> like we just need to win, not just win some pistols and stop making like some of these dumb errors, right? After that, we were, I mean, we were feeling pretty good about ourselves because like we want, we're winning the important rounds, which is our, which are the gun rounds. It's just, we have to like get like some of these, these little rounds or stop these little mistakes and we'll be in a really good spot. Cause like, I think fundamentally we're playing good except for a few errors, I guess. 
Okay, so first set of bands we have Breeze and Vine, map number one picked by Optic is Ascent versus, uh, with DRX on attack. The map number two picked by DRX is Icebox with Optic on defense. Um, next set of bands are Haven and Fracture. The default map for number three will be Split with Optic on defense. Sound good? Okay. Perfect. Cool. Good luck to you both. Hello guys. We, we, we start Ascent CT, which is good for us, and then the next map is Icebox, which is good for and then the last map is split, which, I mean, we're starting defense. They picked Icebox. We're starting defense, so. Uh, I knew they would. Full band Fracture. They really no, picked Icebox. Fracture 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 fracture. Fracture. No, Splits. Makes sense. Fracture. Fracture. Bad Fracture? I think they do. I mean, this, I, think, I, think, I, think, I think the Icebox pick from them makes sense. Yeah. yeah. Why does it make sense? It's, a, it's literally what I said they were going to pick because they throttled on Icebox. Icebox split. We, are, we don't have a super strong Icebox. That's not pretty good at me. It's strong. Pretty good at me. So DRX, even going into the event, we felt like was probably the strongest team at this event. And then they just started destroying everyone in groups. 13 health, but sitting there with an operator! Oh, he just needs to connect! Jing luckily takes him down, but Mako's already so made blowing them, and as they TP in, they are just going straight into and then we were like, okay, well, they're good. And we felt like that was our biggest competition at this event. It was the perfect test for us to decide whether we were going to win or lose this yeah. event. Yeah. All right, Jimmy has us. Jimmy has us today. First map, it was Ascent. We picked it, and we had like a really good game plan going into it. I remember it perfectly. One, two, three, off there! Let's go. Everything. Let's go. Yep. Go, boys, go. Say goodbye to map one. Optic just gets shattered. I, I, I think they're just gonna stick to their yeah. game plan. I'm probably faking. I'm yeah, not gonna lie. Yeah, just don't over rotate. That should be our plan. Well, that is the Xbox. Yeah. You don't have to be right. Yeah, on that tube strat, the KO and Sage always go kitchen, and then the other two just play like mid and just lurking. Like playing like this. Yeah, pretty much the same. Yeah. We were super prepared for their Icebox pick. Uh, we knew it was one of their better maps. We also knew how they liked to play it. I had the 0.04 Sovo to stop the diffuse or something, which was like. They pushed me a snow, big push me a snow. Sigh of relief. Two snow, two snow, two snow. Two snow. We, have we have all for bomb. Catching Victor, two? No, we're two rifles. Two rifles. Okay, guarding. And I have ult. When players on our team get off to strong starts, it's really easy to kind of run with that momentum and get a good half. So we were just able to do that. To try and do it, but now time. Wow, respect to them. Oh my god, god bless you. We won, we won. Super heavy, I move steady right through the city limit. My foot up on the gas, get a better way. It wasn't when the mission has had a way to better ride that. He's swimming with the fishes. An optic sending them up. Look at Mark. The timing's gorgeous. The shots are there. Kill this fucker. Kill this fucker. He's right on the right. Yep, on the right. Look right. Fucking go. Optic outpacing their nine man by chunks. Nice. Chasing the dream. Man. No one plants like me. We can really take good this game. Bro. Yeah, that's, I have no Wait, idea how I got bought down that last round. I uh, know, you played good. I was Holy watching you. Holy fuck. Let's go. 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 Let's go.
just like winning these big games just gives me so much hype and so much confidence. I'm proving it to myself. Too easy, bro. Kidding, that shit was hard. <laughs> that shit is no joke, they're good. My mind is going crazy right now. So happy we fucking won. Uh, they're a great team. Yeah, we definitely grinded the round, showed our potential today. Just gotta keep it going for the finals. I loved the way we played that game. Um, everyone was just vibing right. We won a lot of close situations. Everyone was so calm. Yeah, it was a really hard game. It was definitely nice to have a break after that DRX game because that game felt like a marathon. It felt nice to disconnect, you know, go to the lagoon, go and hang out with, you know, just not worry about Valorant for a sec. That felt very refreshing for a second, and it definitely, I think, helped us refocus a little bit. It was just, you know, back to business after that. Yeah. No. Yeah. What's up, admin? What admin we got today? Oh, the lucky one or not the lucky one? What would you consider yourself? We, I'll put it like this, okay? We did a play test today. Top frag. All right. It wasn't even a question. Right, we have the good luck done. My, my sheriff was on point today, <laughs> let me tell you. Loud is a team that was undefeated since at that point. At that point, they were undefeated. We know it's a double elimination bracket, so if we lose, we can still come back, but we weren't really thinking about that. Bring the fist bumps back. Let's go. Every round, guys. Oh, yeah. Every single oh, round is ours. Help, 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 help. Oh, help, help. They, they don't expect yeah, yeah, yeah. Sure. I'm out of here. Help with the hand. Ready? Yep. Go. Exit. Watch the tower. I got it. Sound again. I got it. What's happening? What's happening? Oh yeah. my god, my that's dog. That's you know me, fam. Let's go, bro. Yo, walk back dish. If me dish. Go, go, go. Did we sand, maybe? Cleared it. Sand, Alright, last one pointing. Multi him. Oh, Nevermind. Don't kill him. He's low. Dominated on map number one. Come on, man. Vic, 13 first bloods in 15 rounds. Yeah, I remember the first map was like free. It was fracture. It was like literally free. Free, and I thought after that map I was like, holy fuck, there's no way we can lose this game if we lose. If we just won the first map, thirds and two. If we lose, we fucking suck. I'm knifing yellow. Yeah, I'm holding yellow swing like on the left. That's okay, I'm holding. I'm holding. Yeah, that's that. Yeah, that's that. Plant out in the wild. Is he fighting or no? No, no, he's TP'd out. TP'd out. Because that removes the screen. Stop top. I can't plant. I cannot plant. Wait a bit. Wait a bit. Take sight. Take sight, guys. Take sight. They don't have the utility to cover as they push forward. All these angles. Some man sight. Snow, snow, snow.
So losing to Loud was obviously a huge blow to us because we felt like we should have won that game. I personally felt like we should have won that game. So it didn't really, wasn't a blow to our confidence. It was just one of those things where we kind of just tossed again. That was our first time like completely dominating first map and losing a series. So it was kind of a new feeling for us. Obviously in the moment it sucks. Uh, right after losing it sucks, but we're so quick to fix what went wrong in the game that we lost. Like literally right after the loss, like we're two hours and we go back to right back to the practice room. We're two hours and they're just like discussing and like what we could do better, like how we could fix this round or what we could, what could we have done better in this situation. So yeah, I really like that about us. We're really quick to solve our problems, and I think it showed. That flash, full blind, full blind. Inside, inside, Raptor. Hell, hell, hell. Oh, so going into the Zeta game, we just had a clear game plan of how we were going to play against them, and we preferred playing against Zeta over Paper Rex. So it was huge for us that. You know, Zeta was the one that we ended up playing. We were just extremely confident against that style of play. Yeah. Okay. All right, good luck to you both. Even the fracture bind with ice lock split. There's just fracture and ice box or something. And different spots. So they want neon, neon, raise. Okay. You guys hear me? You're a little loud. Haven. Of course, after a loss, we just always come back, like every time. And we just lock in even harder each time we lose. I mean, losing kind of drives us. I think Jimmy had the match of his life. One, two, three, lock in! Don't worry about results ever. Just play every round like it's your last. Like, to play close to the wall, Nash up into yeah! the wall. Not two. Play on, play on. I'm in garage hiding. Come out CT, come out CT, one more. CT. Reach. I'm gonna flash, wait, wait, oh, oh, flashing. CT. Nice round, Jimmy. The 1v1, he thinks he's playing towards our lobby area. Right round the back, four! Oh! Oh! Yeah. Let's go, Jimmy. Top sewer, two, top sewer. Top sewer, two. Two. Jake. Top sewer. Top sewer. Yeah, no, he's not top 10. Still, no match I'm in dude. He's near me. He's nice. Good fucking recovery, guys. Holy fuck. Oh, we really needed Haven, in my opinion, to kind of just have that 1 0 lead going into our map pick. So it was just huge that they, that, you know, Jimmy was able to pull that out and we were able to win in that overtime because. I think it kind of made everyone confident that we can do it, just to have a player that's playing on that level. Um, we were just like, yeah, we can't lose. If Jimmy's playing like this, we can't lose. And then everyone started playing like really well after that. Dead. You break the they going oh, the Vikings bit, and they're in the kill last already. Running straight through it. It's a pass. Oh, just occurring all over. That's the bloody shot. I can't. One HP, one HP. An optic moments away. The second division. The answer back. Rattled through the shot. Definitely swinging through. It's all on depth. One player left alone. And he cannot do it. Optic gaming. 13 to 8. They close it out. Three maps on the board. That is going to be their ticket booked to the grand finals. For our team, the job's never finished. And we make sure we, we have that mindset from now on because back then it kind of came back to haunt us. We had a couple of days before the final match, and um, yeah, we were playing against Loud again, so we had to get our revenge. Okay, gonna walk through this really quick. Um, so we have both bands coming from Loud, are Split and Fracture. Map number one is Ascent with Optic on Defense. Map number two is Bind with Loud on Attack. Map number three is Breeze with Optic on Attack. Map number four is Icebox with Loud on Defense. Uh, Decider is Haven with Optic on Attack. Okay. Perfect, right. good luck to you both. Right. Thank, oh, you thank you so much, guys. Good luck, good luck. Good luck. Good luck. Good luck. Okay. Yeah, I thought it was Jesus. Okay. Uh, they picked us first. Breeze is third, so they're getting us a chance to win the first two rounds. Yeah. And one in the third. Wow. That's kind of a troll. Jesus. That's kind of a troll. We start CT Ascent. Wait, Bind and Ascent? Ascent and Bind. Ascent and Bind. Breeze, Icebox
In the last two maps, we'll start attack. So, because we every time we start defense on Icebox, I feel like we just fucking get throttled. We go defense, defense, attack, attack, attack. Every time we start Haven defense, we get fucking slaughtered. So I'm just gonna, I chose to use the attack like like and then for a set we start defense. I didn't want to. I didn't want to go into it with like, oh, like this is the grand finals of the whole thing, you know? It's just like, for me, it was just another day, you know? And I wanted to treat it as such. I didn't want to like put too much emphasis on like what we were about to accomplish. For me, all I wanted to do was go there and just play the best I can, you know, and just have fun with it. Walking up to the stage for another grand finals, it was, you know, in championship whites as well. It was like a, it was like a new feeling. It, it definitely felt different than the first time we were in the grand final. Setting up our peripherals, everyone seemed like Everything was good that day, like the vibes were good. So it was one of those days and I was like, oh yeah, we got this in the bag. The second I sat down, I just felt a sense of calm and I just felt like there were zero butterflies, nerves, anxiousness, it was just all gone. Cause I think it was just, I ran out of it. One, two, three, come back! Another grand final, this time, we don't come in the same as we did against Gambit. We make sure that every round we play to perfection and not try to make any mistakes. They have all the advantages, they have everything. They have all the crowd, everyone's on their side. Nobody wants us to win. It does not matter. Play like it's our, literally just play. Play, it's enjoy, it's it's, enjoy the game, play for each other. It just felt like everything was gonna go exactly how we wanted it to. Calm down. We're gonna fucking destroy them. Shot round it. It's marked. What a moment for this match. The static now tries to fall. Oh, oh, no, 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 Jimmy, you're fucking insane, bro. Holy shit. Victor delivers it. Let's go. Let's go. Optic, get map one. We just won their map pick, which was Ascent. Went into Bind, which we were never gonna lose. And then, you know, even though Aspas had some insane rounds in bathrooms, it was just. We were never gonna lose. We needed to know that what happened last year was definitely something that we can correct and fix. And we needed to know that we can surpass our own limits. And I think each and every player did that in this tournament for us. have one last match that we have to give our all to. Love the Shrek. It's top, top, top. Not all. Still close left. Hiding. Zero yeah, trade hiding. potential. Right. I walled, I walled. I don't think you're giving them nothing. The literal green wall is still up. They have to go through so much to even try and find a way back into this. Sassy and Hannah Gunner, what are you going to do? Okay, March down already one of them. Vader, it's it's clean. Vader. That's five yeah, alive for up. Optic. The shot goes out. Standing ahead. We're flying, we're flying, guys. We're flying. Don't peek, don't peek, Jake. Please, please, please. You're on the bonus round. Yeah, he's barely alive, but it doesn't matter. It's still a body to try and get past Sassy. Has to overextend to find Crash. He's Austin, God. I want fucking perfection from each and every player. No more fucking mistakes. None. Zero, dude. We're winning this tournament if none of you fuck up. No mistakes. Let's go. Yo, he's to the left. He's to the left. One left. Bricks, 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 bricks. In the old. Around here. I'm getting on it. I don't know if they've got enough time on this. I don't think they do at this point. I think he's got it. No way. Yeah, yeah he's got it. Yeah. Nice. Yes. Well, are you kidding me? You guys are insane. Had the no, no. Wait for, wait for the wall. He has Viper ult. Fuck. You want to push? Backside, backside. I think he has to push. Oh, oh, oh. Backside, backside one, backside. Backside, go left wall, run of me. Backside, backside, backside. Oh, no. They've seen him. Crashes, catches him. The defuse comes in. Oh my god, I have, oh my god. It's fine, god. it's fine, bro. Jimmy, Jimmy. All good, you have this. You have this, bro. The Viper's pit! Us. They've suddenly got yeah, a new right. way to defend this crash. Just trying to play the time, try and find something. It's all right, it's all right. Fine, we're fine. And FNS, how are you still doing it's this? It's too late! No way! FNS! Unbelievable teams! The Kingmaker himself does nice. it all himself! Nice. Nice. Boy John! Nice job, John. Hey! Boy John, man!
able to come out into that game, you know, with every, all the odds against you. I remember me and Vic just looked at each other and smiled super big at each other and just gave each other like a really big hug because, you know, we've been, been with each other since like the beta days. Uh, this win was such a huge fucking relief. Right when the game ended, Jimmy said, wait, holy fuck, guys, we won. I couldn't really process that we just won an actual championship at first. Yeah, I was just sitting there at first. I mean, it just proved to myself that I could always do it and I could always be one of the best. We really like won something big. Prior to this, like, I don't really have anything, you know, that really show. I, for me, it was just like a guy on the team that, you know, he, he was pretty good, but like, you know, he, didn't, he never went to anything or, you know, went very far. So to be able to bring my skills over to the team and help them win something and them, you know, supporting me and helping me also win something, it's, it's an amazing feeling, right? So. <laughs> it feels great to finally win one for Hex just because I couldn't do that in CS. Came like kind of close, but not really. So it feels good that, you know, he finally has that. And then for me personally, it feels good because now I can say I won, you know, some tier one events in multiple games and our team as well feels good just because we worked super hard and we didn't take that many days off and I don't think anyone could take it away from us and say like we got lucky because we definitely deserved it this event. I grew up watching OpTic so winning a championship for OpTic was pretty sick. <laughs> Think about the trajectory of what we went through and having the opportunity and ability to come back as strong as we did, winning a championship and not just uh, Call of Duty as our home opener, but also winning a, a Valorant global event as Optic like that. That shows you, right? That shows you that the, the, the we're, we're on our way back. And when we get there, you'll it'll be clear. It'll be as clear as it once was. Uh, but I'm enjoying the journey, right? I'm, I'm enjoying the, 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 the struggles. I'm enjoying the, it's not an easy way back to where we were. And everyone here is enjoying it. Everybody here understands the task. Like everybody understands the assignment. was saying like, nah, you're not done writing your story yet. Like you gotta keep going for a sec. Like make just a few more years. Cause like there's something crazy that comes along the way, you know? We talked for hours. We talked for hours and broke it down. It's like, we just can't let this type of stuff happen. It still just hurts at the end of the day. We're not winning. You know, unfortunately, this is a, a cutthroat business where the only thing that matters is, is getting those major land wins. Uh, he reached out to every one of us. It's time. <laughs> oh my God. Give me that shit! You know your win condition. You can see how it plays out. You're like, we have to do this to win it. Go! I'm gonna bring Hector a championship. I'm not stopping until I get him one.